Hi, Bill. Welcome to P Magazine's booth here at uh, Intersolar. Thank you for having me. Bill, Maxion is currently operating across several countries with many manufacturing bases. Is the company planning to expand capacity? Uh, yes, we are, um, particularly in the United States, which is our home turf. Um, we're planning to add uh, three gigawatts of cell and module manufacturing capacity um, in the near future, uh, assuming we uh, get a successful completion of our DOE loan application. And how much capacity will be at the end of this process overall? About three gigawatts. Do you think maybe a, a larger scale may be needed to compete with Chinese that are currently expanding at an unprecedented pace? Well, we have another supply chain route that we run through Malaysia and Mexico. Um, today, that's about two gigawatts. So together, we'll have about five gigawatts. Um, we're going to evaluate market conditions. We may expand further from there. Um, but we believe we have a kind of a preferred position in the United States, given the fact that we're a Silicon Valley-based company. We've been there for many years. And um, we're viewed as largely an American company in America, which gives us, uh, you know, again, a preferred position in that market. So let's say the focus is clearly the U.S. right now. For our power plant market, the focus is the U.S. On our distributed generation market, which we market more of our IBC technology as well as our performance line, sort of a 50-50 mix, um, we're focused sort of equally on Europe and the United States at the same time. Um, and maybe 10% in developing markets, rest of the world, Latin America, Japan, Australia. Maxion is a pioneer in the IBC technology. Is expanding capacity also for this technology? I mean, is this the, the, the real focus for the future too, in terms of uh, solar module manufacturing? Yes, absolutely. In fact, we just announced we're going to expand about 500 megawatts of our new Maxion 7 technology. And uh, literally just about a week ago, we announced that we set a new world record efficiency for panel efficiency of 24.7% aperture area efficiency as measured by the National Renewable Energy Lab in uh, Golden, Colorado. Which is the technology roadmap for IBC in Maxon at this stage? Well, let's just say that we have some headroom to go, but I'm not going to give you any specific targets right now. <laughs> so maybe just an idea of how much capacity may increase by which percentage, which even a small percentage? Uh, we're going to grow with the market. Our, uh, our, our designated uh, financial model is to grow 20% on revenue uh, year on year. So in a declining price environment, we'll have to grow our capacity slightly higher than that. And is Maxion also considering other cell technologies like Topcon or maybe a heterojunction in the future? Well, in fact, on our performance line um, product, our next generation is going to include Topcon cells in a shingled format. So we are going to be introducing a Topcon panel in the very near future. Um, beyond that, um, we'll see. We always keep our eyes open. Um, we are uh, very much a technology leader, SunPower, um, our long history. Um, we have always been one of the leaders in technology and one of the top innovators. So um, we're just going to keep pushing the technology further and further up. And Maxion and SunPower are also being considered like the, maybe one of the, the most performing modules for distributed generation. But is the company also targeting, let's say, big development in the large scale segment? That's not our focus right now. Um, again, we're focusing on the U.S. power plant market sort of specifically in terms of large scale, um, primarily because, uh, again, we have the home field advantage there. Um, but um, the rest of the world market, we're, we're staying open to that. It's an option for us, but um, it's not our primary focus right now. And you say Europe is also one of your preferred markets at, at the moment, of course. Uh, is there still big demand for Maxim products in, 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 in Europe? Is there still interest for high performing modules uh, that are maybe a bit more expensive? No, absolutely. Demand for our products in Europe is really strong. I mean, I think the Euro typical European customer appreciates a high performance product. And we offer a 40 year warranty. Um, it's very well demonstrated that we have superior energy production over the lifetime of the product. Um, it's a great looking product. And, you know, we're a very reliable, reputable company. So I think the, a lot of European customers really value that and are willing to pay a little bit more for that product. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.